is the quiz I made up in Gradescope so you can practice entering things using the mathematical type setting um, program, essentially LaTeX or LaTeX. Um, and here's how it works. So first of all, anything that's math that you want to write in has to be in between double dollar signs. So if I wanna write sine of X, I need double dollar sign, backslash, sine, space X, double dollar sign. And if I unclick, it should show it. Now just a couple things to avoid. So if you click back on it, it shows it. If you accidentally write sine X and no space in between, it shows it wrong. See, look, it's in red. If you put parentheses right after the sign, that's fine. But if you don't want to put parentheses and you just want X, then you need to put X like that. Whoops, and then un unclick it. Not too terrible. Um, if I wanted like sine of X plus five, well, that doesn't seem very clear. That's when I definitely would want parentheses. So I would just throw some parentheses around that there. And then you can totally see what you've got. Um, so that's how you do sine. And for any kind of trig function that has a name like that, you would do it the same way. So if I want cosine, I would do backslash cos space x for cosine of x and then double dollar signs, comma, double dollar sign, slash tangent, sorry, backslash tangent, space x, double dollar sign. Um, you can't put more than one function in, but if you put like a comma after this and then put say cosecant, so backslash csc space x, um, and then you click off of that. Uh, the spacing actually looks all right. So you could probably do it either way. Um, I kind of like to put my commas outside of my math typing area, backslash sec x, and then comma double dollar sign, backslash cot of x, double dollar sign. So that shows us all, oops, I wanted to have a comma there instead of a period. So that kind of shows us how you can, oops, I must have, so see how it's in the italicized font there? That means I probably didn't put the backslash on it. Now, if you did that for your test, it probably would be fine, right? No one's gonna be like, oh, it looks like cotangent with italics, everyone cares. How to make a fraction. So to make a fraction, again, you want double dollar sign, backslash, and then you want, sorry, backslash is, sorry, you want to do the fraction command, which is backslash frac, and then you want curly braces open and close, curly braces open and close, That'll give you a fraction with nothing in it. Oh, it doesn't even show it. Um, so then if you want to put stuff in the numerator, like x cubed plus one, you do x um, caret is what we usually call that symbol, cubed, and then plus one. And then for x to the 23rd, I'm gonna write it the wrong way. If I do x to the 23rd like that, it's not gonna work out. Let's take a look. See how the two is in the x one, but the three is not? So the thing is, for anything larger than one character in an exponent, you need to put curly braces around it. I'm just gonna call them braces, that's what they're called. Um, you can call them curly brackets, I like to call them braces. So that's how you would actually write that, like that. Um, as far as doing a natural log, so much like the trig functions, the natural log function, you need a backslash and then ln. Oh, and I need, so actually, if I forget to put the dollar signs around it, it'll come out to just look like that, right? Like nothing happens. So dollar sign, sorry, double dollar sign, I do that. Then I've got the natural log function, which I know looks okay, it kind of looks the same. Um, again, if you didn't write the function names, you'd probably be fine. If I wanted to do x cubed plus one over x to the 23rd minus one, well actually I'm just gonna go back up here and copy all of this stuff right here, because that seems smart. And then I'm gonna go put it in right there with a paste. And if I undo that, I've got that. Now I would like parentheses around that. The problem with this is if I actually put a parentheses just around the fraction like that, and there's a parentheses opening, there's a parentheses close. Oh, it actually comes out right. Well, that's cool. Sometimes you have to do something different, but fine, don't worry about it. So it looks like the parentheses worked out great, no big deal. For these ones, so again, for natural log of x, backslash ln space, you need that space, x. For natural log or something larger, I need backslash natural log. Basically, if you do natural log, x it reads the letters as a different command but if you do natural log ln and then a parenthesis it doesn't read that parenthesis as part of the command so it's fine to put that right next to the end there um, i want 3x to the second minus slash sorry backslash cosine of x um, and then i want log base 2 to do log base 2 i'm going to do backslash log and then i do an underscore which is the symbol above the minus sign 
Um, you do shift minus sign or do the underscore and then the two for the base. And then I want some parentheses around my X. And then I'm also gonna do backslash log base. Now to do a base of 23, since it's bigger than one character, I need braces around it. And then X. Close it off with a double dollar sign, unclick, and everything should look perfectly good. All right, um, exponents should be pretty straightforward. If I want to do e to the right, all the exponents are just e caret symbol, which is the symbol above the six x comma two to the x comma e to the. I need braces around it because it's bigger than one thing. Four to the what do I got here? Braces x to the second minus seven. Close the braces, comma. 10, oops, I should be, I, it's good to have spaces as well after the commas. 10 to the, I can, so I'm gonna do this one way first. I'm gonna do one divided by just using the um, forward slash symbol, x to the second, and we'll see how that looks. So that looks like 10 to the whatever x squared, that's fine, but it doesn't look the same as that. So if you want just a fraction where it's like a slash fraction, it's fine to just use the forward slash. But if you want the fraction to look like a horizontal slash, you need to use the fraction command and do, backslash frac, open parenthesis, numerator, sorry, open brace, numerator, close the brace, open brace, denominator, which is x squared, close the brace. And then that'll look like that there. Um, so to write stuff like this, if I want to find the derivative of x to the 32nd e to the x squared, I could write it this way if I want to be fancy. I could do backslash frac d, close the brace, and then on the bottom part of the denominator dx, that's gonna look like the symbol d dx, and I can see, d, so that means take the derivative. So it doesn't, it's not gonna take the derivative for you, but it's nice kind of notation. So I can see d dx of x to the 32nd times e to the mm, x squared. Now, that's actually not gonna look right, because again, x to the 32nd, that 32nd, since it's more than one term, has to have braces around it, or more than one character, I should really say. Um, and that derivative is going to equal, so I'm gonna use the product rule. The derivative of x to the 32nd is 32x to the 31st times you leave the other part alone, which is just e to the x squared, and then plus, and then you do the other way. You do leave the x to the 32 alone, again, still need braces around that 32, and then times, um, the, the derivative of e to the x squared is e to the stuff times the derivative of the stuff. Now, if I click off this, it doesn't look exactly like my answer there. I have some little dots to kind of emphasize the multiplication. You don't have to have that. I kind of like it. And so the way, if you want to have those dots, it's super duper easy. So if I want 32 x to the 31st times or dot for the time symbol, I do a backslash C D O T that stands for center dot. And then I can do one over here is to a backslash C D O T. I do need to space after it or it won't come out right because it'll read the E as part of the command. And then I need a backslash C dot over here as well. In fact, let me click off of that first. So you can see how my answer looks. It's got those little dots in there and I can go back here if I want and do a backslash C dot. That's more of a cosmetic thing. It's not super duper important. Um, I can also do this. I think this is probably, right? We've already got this, right? Um, double dollar sign, backslash, frac. So if you want to write the symbol for like taking a derivative, it's just a fraction with d on top and dx on the bottom. Space x to the fourth equal to four x to the third. Close that double dollar sign. All right, hopefully this helps you guys figure this stuff out. I know it's kind of new, but it shouldn't be too, too terrible. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and ask me. Also, don't submit this quiz. I mean, you can if you want. I'm not gonna grade it, but if you don't submit it, you can keep going back and kind of playing around with it. If you do submit it, then so there you go. Hope that helps. Bye.